I'm Tisa. And I'm Cham. And we're from the band Collage. I love the Atlantis guitar because it's a great tool for the studio, which I'm frequently writing songs right now for our EP. And I switch in between the MIDI controller keyboard to the MIDI guitar, plus it has a very pristine clean tone. And as a female guitarist, this is what I really love is like a very sleek build. It's all around a really great tool and a great new guitar to play around with. What I really like about the Atlantis is how streamlined it's made my setup. I used to play with a lot of guitar pedals. Uh, you know, I own like over 100 pedals. And since switching to the Atlantis, I now play all my sounds um, from a Roland GR55. And so from a live setting, the biggest benefit that I've seen is instead of having to tap dance around on like all sorts of different pedals, I can just use the, uh, the selector here. Live, it really helps not having to walk back to my pedal board you know, having to kind of break up my, my moment. So now I'm going to show you guys how to link your Atlantis guitar with your computer so you can use the Lightwave Atlantis as a MIDI controller. So the first step is to make sure you have a MIDI interface. That's basically something that's going to read the 13-pin output of the Atlantis and convert it into something that, the, that your computer can read. So in this instance, I'm using the Roland GR55. I'm coming out of the USB out and going into my MacBook Pro. Once you get everything connected, open up a Finder window, go to Applications, and then from Applications, open the Utilities folder. Inside Utilities, you want to look for something called Audio MIDI Setup. So you open that up, and then you want to go to Window and click Show MIDI Studio. So all these things here, these are all the MIDI devices that are connected to your computer. So if you, if you have like a keyboard MIDI controller, it's going to pop up here. And um, what we're looking for now is to look for the Roland GR, GR55 to make sure it's, it's somewhere in here. So we've got it. It's highlighted. It's not faded out. That means that the computer is synced up to the GR55 and it's getting the signal from my guitar. So the next thing to do is open up a session in your DAW. In this, uh, on this computer, I'm using Pro Tools. So I've got a session here. We're going to open up a new track, change it from mono to stereo, change it from audio to an instrument track, and then hit Create. OK, so we're going to record Enable. And then I'm going to load up a software instrument that we use a lot in our productions. It's called Nexus. And then from here, you can basically just um, pick, you know, you can start playing with patches. So let's just pick a random one. Um, oh, here's a deep swirl. Let's see how that sounds. It's pretty cool. So, I mean, these, these are definitely way beyond the scope of what, you know, most traditional guitar pedals are going to provide you. You can kind of approach music in a different way, but from a familiar vehicle. Here's another sound, basic saw open. You can try some pads. Here's a Andromeda pad. Yeah. There's some more traditional sounds like, you know, you've got a piano, um, electric piano. That's actually kind of a pretty crazy piano. Let's see if I can find a more normal one. Grand piano. Um, I'll show you one more. We can do um, maybe like a, a lead. This one's called a dark saw. Yeah, and so what, what I really like about this is, you know, it kind of puts these sounds that are usually only reserved for like DJs and stuff, and you know, puts these sounds in a you know guitarist's hands, and you know, there's just endless possibilities with what you can do with it. Um, and yeah, so I mean, I think that's everything you need to know as far as hooking up your guitar, getting started. Um, in a second, I'm going to bring Tisa back, and we can show you how we use some of these sounds and incorporate them in our live shows. Mm -hmm. 